Welcome back to Evolution Works. Today we're going to check out the Genmitsu kiosk laser engraver. People over at Saint Smart sent this out to me to check out and uh, I haven't even opened the box yet. So let's get it out of the box and see what's inside. Got our manual. I'm sure we're going to need that. Looks like we got more parts inside. Two little thin pieces of basswood to test on, I guess. Let's see what we got inside the machine. All right. Our... So inside we have the enclosure itself, a pair of safety glasses, instruction manual, we got our power supply, there's a little toolkit here with some brushes and looks like an SD card or a thumb drive. Got some sample wood to work with. USB cable and the laser module itself. So there is a two and a half, a five watt, and a 10 watt version of this running 199, 249, and 299, I think is what the prices are right now. I'll leave a link down in the description so you can uh, go check those out yourself. This one is the five watt, so they sent this over. There are a bunch of accessories you can get for it. They didn't send me any accessories, so we're just gonna test out what this can do. Before we go any further, I'm actually gonna look at the instruction book. Uh, Genmitsu actually does typically have some pretty good instructions. All right, first thing I'm gonna do is get the laser module installed into the enclosure, and then we'll start looking at the software and get things set up. Got this bracket on the back here that'll slide in. Lock that in place with this little thumb screw. And we'll plug it in. All right. Take a quick look at uh, the features here. We've got our power button, start button, enclosure that lifts all the way up and folds back just out of your way. On the back side, we have, this is a connection for a fan and that has an extraction system that is an option for this. Uh, it's smoke purifier. For right now, I'm just running in the shop here, so I'm not gonna worry about that. Uh, we've got a USB-C input, our power input. This is a connection, it's a USB for the roller system, which is another option. There's a micro SD card, and this is a connection for the optional camera that you can get, and that'll let you uh, watch from the inside and see what, make sure you see what's going on there. These four screws on the back, you can take these out if you have something that's too tall for this for the capacity of it and you can put these back in so that's a nice little feature if you need to fit something in there that's too big for the enclosure that gives you a couple more inches to play with and uh, obviously you're going to need to use safety glasses at that point because the enclosure isn't covered up and one last little thing we have this plate in the bed here you can take this out if you were to if you wanted to print on something like a tabletop or you know something that's too big to fit inside here you can take that out and that'll let you print right down through the bottom of it. First thing I did after setting up some software on the computer was to burn a grid pattern onto the base plate itself. This will just help me see exactly where the cutting limits are and get the materials lined up with that. All right so I got the little grid laid out on the base plate that's going to help me keep things aligned. I'm just going to use a piece of this basswood that they send with the kit and just try to put a logo on it and see how it goes. All right, so looks to me like that could be Maybe a little bit darker, but overall it looks pretty good for, for the first run. Um, next thing I wanna try, actually got these little black tins that I use for our board butter. And uh, I'm gonna try to see if I can set that up and see how it prints. First thing I have to do is figure out how to align things, make sure it's dead center. So we'll see how that works.
All right, well, that turned out good. That's uh, it's a little bit off center. I think this is definitely a case where you'd want to build a jig to hold this in place, make sure it's centered every single time. But uh, yeah, the, uh, the burn looks pretty good on it. It's nice and clean. Once I wiped it all off with the alcohol and scrubbed it a little bit, all the powder coat's gone. So yeah, it's working pretty good. Got one more test I want to do, and uh, then I can give you my final opinion on this thing. If you're selling cutting boards at a craft fair or something and you wanted to do like personalization or you know, engraved names on it or something like that, the bottom of this does come out so you can actually set it on the board and do an engraving right on the board itself. So I'm gonna give that a shot and see how that works. Yeah, it looks pretty good. Obviously, I, I think you'd want to build a jig if you're doing cutting boards, again, just to support the machine and uh, you know, keep everything centered where you want it, but uh, looks like it does a pretty nice job on it. All right, final thoughts on the five watt kiosk laser engraver from Gen Mitsu. I think it's a good little unit for what it's intended for. It's not gonna replace your big tabletop lasers. This is gonna shine if you're doing craft shows uh, fairs, that, that type of thing where you can do personalization right on site. You know, if you're, you're selling jewelry or dog tags or, you know, wallets, it's going to be a little bit small for a full, you know, a full logo on a cutting board or something like that. But if you just want to do personalization down in the corner, it's actually going to be perfect for that. I think you'd want to add some of the accessories. The smoke purifier would definitely help uh, pulling some of those fumes out. If you're using this in a house or at a fair somewhere where you're, you know, people are going to notice the smell, I would definitely get the, uh, the smoke purifier for it. And the camera system, I did struggle to get this thing lined up with what I was actually going to print on in the beginning. Um, I think with the camera system looking down from the inside, you get a better idea of where you are you know, in, in relation to, your, to where the laser is actually going to start cutting. So that would probably help. And, uh, you know, the rotary, rotary would be nice. You could you know, do some engraved tumblers and things like that. Uh, rolling pins, basically anything round, you could put it on the roller and then engrave it. So, um, yeah, I think it's uh, for what it is. And, you know, at this price point, you're looking anywhere from 200 to 300 for depending on which uh, wattage you get. Personally, I would jump right into the 10 watt. 5 watt's going to be pretty decent. And you know, going to the 10 watt, you're actually going to get into where you, you could start doing some cutting and some darker, faster engraving than what, uh, what I was doing here. These are these actually took quite a bit of time for some parts of it. If you want to pick one of these up for yourself, I will leave an affiliate link down in the description. And uh, if you click on that link, it will give me a small commission. So I'd appreciate that. Helps keep the lights on here in the shop. And uh, that's going to wrap it up for this one. So we'll see you on the next one. Thanks for watching.